All right, guys. Now today we have an overclocking preset video. I haven't really done any of those in, in the you know past, but we have an ASUS Maximus Seven Hero motherboard um, and the 97790K. And now we are simply gonna go for five gigahertz. All right. So here we go. We wanna set your overclocking tuner to manual. Now, 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 guys. We want to set our you know base clock to 100 megahertz. And now we want to go to single core. Hit on a nice 50 to get five gigahertz then we can leave these things alone now we can just set our DRAM our DRAM is 2133 but you know just set your own DRAM just to read it and then we can just go on the timings to set our timings now your timings again are written on the DRAM so you can just read those now we can just go here external DG plus power control and now we want to set our load line calibration to 8 you can also use seven, but you know, our VRAMs are liquid cooled, so we can afford that. Then, then, then we wanna set this, this one. We can leave it like that, but we wanna set the power duty control to extreme. Current capability, 140. And then current capability of VRAM. We are basically just removing those limitation with, which could actually um, come in place. And now here, we pretty much leave everything alone. Now we just go over here and we want to unlock those limitations again, because they are just here, you know, to prevent uh, CPU to exceed them, but we don't care about that. Then on manual, here we hit a nice 1.425. Of course, you might need like 0.25 more, but hey, 0 0.025 to be honest. And now with system agent, we can leave it like that even with the RAM we have, which is super high. Then on DRAM voltage, I usually go with 1.55 uh, all the time, and it works quite well. And well, this is it. At this point, we just hit F10. And now here we are into Windows. Now I can just open CPC to validate my results. And well, as you can see, we are at five gigahertz. Now I'm gonna run a quick test just to show you that the performance are actually five gigahertz worth of. And now we have 28, 24, pretty much 28, 25. Whew, 28, 27 on the multi-core. And then we have 500. and 49 on the single thread, but this is because we just booted Windows. If we waited a couple of seconds, we would have had around 555. And well, guys, let's just take a look at the 8700K. As you can see, we are pretty much there in single thread. Let me just take a look at, I don't know, the Ryzen 7 3700X. We are well over it in single thread. It means we are playing games better. Our memory, is a 2133 megahertz this is our main board as you can see now i'm gonna quickly show you the setup in which we did this all right guys now give me a sec this is it uh it's not like it's water cooled and we have the vrms water cooled which is why i could put my load line calibration so high um but it's not that insane actually it's just 360 mil red um i've seen people with like double reds and like the pump um is quite old but the cpu is deleted we deleted it with this vice and I actually made a tutorial about that. So if you haven't checked that one out, you might want to check that one out since it drops like 20 degrees and that is just great. So yes, guys, this is the overclocking preset. If you want quick and easy five gigahertz, let me know if you liked it. Again, you might want to add a little bit of V-Core, um, but I thought I'd share my settings. So yeah, might want to drop a sub guys. And I also have the video of this build. So you might want to check that one out.